Hey everyone, today's lesson is Solve Systems by Substitution. Take out your lesson worksheet and a pencil. If you don't have that, grab a sheet of loose leaf paper and a pencil so you can copy down the examples and follow along as we go through the lesson. Okay, here's the problem. Solve the system using the substitution method. Write the solution as an ordered pair. So we are going to look at this system of equations right here. And just like we did with graphing, we're going to try to find an ordered pair, an x value and a y value, that will work in both of these equations when I substitute the values. It's going to make both of them true. Now, a lot of steps on this one, right? But really, it just comes down to solving an equation. So if you're good at solving equations, if you like doing that, then I think you're going to like the substitution method. Okay, the first step is you have to make sure that at least one of the equations is solved for x or y, right? So we don't necessarily have to solve it for y, we could also solve it for x. But you want one of your equations to start out with x equals or y equals. Now, neither one of these start out that way. So I have to decide which one I'm going to solve for the variable. Now, I can do either one, right? It really doesn't matter, but I always try to make my life easier. So I always look for a plain variable. In the second equation, I have a plain y. So I think I'm going to solve this second equation for y. I'll leave my plain variable where it is, and I'm going to get this 3x and cancel it out so it moves over to the other side. I'm going to do minus 3x minus 3x. And that's going to change this equation into y equals negative 3x plus 17. Okay, now I'm ready to use the substitution method. So I'm going to write down the two equations and I'm going to write them next to each other. I'm going to write 4x minus 2y equals 16. And then right next to it, I'm going to write the equation that I just solved for y. y equals negative 3x plus 17. I like to write them side by side just so you can see where I am substituting. I'm going to take the equation, this is step two, find the equation that is solved for a variable and circle the expression. Okay, here's the one that's solved for y. I'm going to circle the expression. Okay, let's look at step three. We're going to substitute this expression, the one I just circled, into the other equation. Now, this expression that I circled is what y is equal to. So I'm going to find the y in my other equation and I'm going to take this whole value and substitute it in right there. And then I'm going to rewrite the equation. So 4x is going to come down, minus 2 is going to come down. Instead of that y, I'm going to replace it with negative 3x plus 17. And then I'm going to write the rest of my equation. Right? I'm just going to bring down the equal 16. So I took this equation, and in place of this y right here, I put this value, because this is what y is equal to. By doing that, this equation now is only going to have one variable in it. Instead of having an x and a y, now it only has x's. Okay, let's keep going. So we have 4x. I'm going to use the distributive property here. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6x and negative 2 times positive 17 is negative 34, and that equals 16. Then I'm going to combine some like terms together. I can add this 4x and this 6x, because they both have x's, and that's going to be 10x minus 34 equals 16. All right, two-stepper. I'm going to add 34 on each side. And that's going to leave me with 10x equals 50. And my last step is to divide by 10. And that gives me x equals 5. So that tells me that in my ordered pair, the first value is 5, right? Because our first value is the x, the second one is the y. All right, so now that I know that x equals 5, I'm going to take this value of x, and I'm going to plug it into my other equation. Right, so let's use this nice, easy equation that we just came up with. This equation was y equals negative 3x plus 17. So I'm going to take this value, this 5, that I just found out, 
I'll be colorful here. Let's do it in blue. I'm going to take this 5 that I just found out, and I'm going to put it here now in place of the x. So we're going to do y equals negative 3, right? Instead of that x, we're going to put a 5, because that's what we figured out in our first step, plus 17 y equals negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 plus 17, and that's going to give me y equals 2. So my solution is positive 5, positive 2. Okay, so I know that can be a little bit overwhelming when you do the first example, but I think when you watch another one, it will become more clear to you. Here we go. Okay, this system is x minus 4y equals negative 2, and then we have 2x plus 6y equals 24. So again, I have to solve one of these for either x or y. Now, I'm going to look for the one that has a plane variable somewhere, which would be the first equation has this plane x. So this would be really easy for me to solve for x. I can just get this 4y over to the other side of the equal sign. And to do that, I can just add it. I'm going to do this really small here. So I'm going to add 4y on this side, and I'm going to add 4y on that side. And that's going to change that first equation into x equals 4y minus 2. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I did there, but I just took this minus 4y, and I had to move it over to the other side of the equal sign. Since it was a minus 4y, I had to add it on both sides. Okay, let's write these side by side. So we have 2x plus 6y equals 24. And then I'm going to write my new equation, right? The one that I already solved for a variable. Okay. I'm going to circle the expression, right? Take the equation that's already solved for the variable and circle that expression. This expression is the value of x. So this time I'm going to find x in my other equation and I'm going to substitute that value in place of the x. So whatever this one is equal to is where it goes in the other equation. All right, ready? Here's 2. Instead of that x, I'm going to put this expression right here. I'm going to put 4y minus 2. Bring down the rest of my equation, plus 6y equals 24. All right, let's solve it. Distributive property, 2 times 4y is 8y. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Bring down the plus 6y equals 24. I have some like terms over here. I can add this 8y with this 6y, and that's going to give me 14y minus 4 equals 24. We have a two-stepper, so let's add 4 on each side. And that's going to give me 14y equals 28. And then we're going to divide by 14 on each side, and it's going to come down to y equals 2. So in my ordered pair, this is the y value, right? So that's the second number in our solution, right? Because remember, the x comes first and then the y. Now that I know that y equals 2, I'm going to take my equation. I'm going to take my nice easy one. You can use any equation you want, but I always like to use the easy one. So x equals 4y minus 2. I am going to take this value right here of 2, right? This is what y is equal to. And I'm going to put it right here where my y goes. So my equation now is going to be x equals 4. I'm going to multiply it to that 2 right there and then subtract 2 x equals, I switch colors here, but that's okay, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2, and that's going to give me x equals 6. So the first number in my ordered pair will be 6, making my solution positive 6, positive 2. Okay, if you want to stop the video now and try the last one on your own, I think that would be a great idea. You can just hit start when you're ready to check it. And if not, you can just stay with me and we'll do this last one together. All right, I'm going to solve one of these for a variable. Find a plane variable. Here it is in the second one. I've got this y all by itself. So let's move the 3x over to the other side. 
I'm going to subtract 3x on each side. And that's going to make this second equation y equals negative 3x plus 8. So now I have an equation that is solved for the variable. I'm going to copy my two equations down side by side. I have 2x plus 7y equals negative 1. And then I have y equals negative 3x plus 8. I'm going to take this expression of the one that was solved for the variable. This is the value of y, so I'm going to put it here in place of y. So this whole expression is going to go right here. Bring down my problem, 2x plus 7. Instead of that y, I'm going to replace it with negative 3x plus 8 equals negative 1. Right? I'm just bringing down the rest of my equation. Then I'm going to solve. 2x comes down. I have a little distributive to do here. Negative 21x. When I do 7 times 8, I get 56. And that all equals negative 1. Then I'm going to add some like terms together. I have a 2 and I have a negative 21. If I add a 2 and a negative 21, that's going to give me a negative 19x plus 56 equals negative 1. I'm going to subtract 56 from each side, right, a two-stepper. So now I have negative 19x equals negative 57. When I divide negative 57 by negative 19, I get x equals 3. So that means the first number in my ordered pair, the x value, is 3. And now we have to figure out the y value. I'm going to take my second equation. I'm going to always use the one that I rewrote, right? Because that's the easiest one, is that one that I rewrote. y equals negative 3x plus 8. I am going to take this value right here of x that we just figured out. We said that x equals 3. And I am going to replace it right here, because that is the value of x. So now I have y equals negative 3 times 3, right, because that was my value of x, plus 8. If I do negative 3 times 3, I get negative 9 plus 8. And a negative 9 plus a positive 8 is a negative 1. So my y value is negative 1. So my solution is positive 3, negative 1. All right, I know this is a little crazy. This is the longest method of solving systems of equations, but it really is all about um, just substitution and solving equations. If you need to go back and watch the video again and read through the steps, I completely understand. And of course, if you need more help with this, please reach out to your teacher, and we would be more than happy to help you. I'll see you next time.